Okay, today, April 18th, Sunday, we have three words, pray for others. Now that's a gift. When people come asking for prayer, they may be saying, oh, hooray, hooray, I've just been gifted $2 million. But chances are they're saying, oh, I have this lack, I have this need, I have this woeful view. So they're asking you to refocus their mind, to redirect their thoughts so that they see God, feel good, no provision. So pray for others. They're asking, I feel, please cover this, what I see as a problem. Let me know what good can come of this. What good is here right now? So we say, God is good. God is source and always present, right here right now. What lack can there be? What dis-ease can there be? There is only good. We pray for others. We let them know that they are surrounded, embraced, covered with good, covered with God. They are part of God. There is no separation, God and them. There is no lack. There is no disease. Of course, things may not work out exactly as their human mind would want it, but they are not alone. They are good right there, always. It has been, it will be. So we pray for others. Let us pray without ceasing. Let us see good without ceasing. Let us remind them that their every need is right at hand. Their every need is right within. Pray without ceasing. Pray for others. And a bonus is that when we pray for others, we cannot hold those thoughts for others without holding them for ourselves. So what a gift. Pray for others. Amen.